Hey guys, Tom Shue here, and uh, before we get started, I want to do a quick tip on gluing with welder's glue. We're going to be using welder's adhesive to build this airplane, and uh, it's contact adhesive. I don't know if you've ever worked with contact adhesive before, but it doesn't work like standard glue. This is the kind of glue you'd use if you was making a, a countertop and you need to glue the formica down to the surface. The idea is this. you uh, First of all, you want to keep your tip really clean because uh, the way this glue is, it contacts itself after it's dried. You want to apply glue to both sides of the surface that you're going to join, okay? All right. And you can wipe off the excess later, but you know, make sure you get enough. And you kind of rub it together like this, okay? Get a nice good joint to where it's pressed tight, okay? And then you pull it apart and you see it kind of gets like a spider web action there, okay? Well, you pull this apart and you let it sit for about five minutes until it's dry to the touch, okay? And then you rejoin the parts together. You know, you just slide them together. And when you press fit them, they lock together. And in about 24 hours, it's completely cure. Um, you can use this for just doing like, this is what butt two pieces together. It would be like a butt joint. Or you could create a hinge with it. You see how these are beveled? You would cut your bevels. So if you're going to do like an elevator, you can use this glue to actually make a hinge. So on your bevels, you apply the glue. And then when you push it together, this one I already did. And uh, we're applying it together for the first time. You see that now we've got a hinge area. Okay. This, it's completely glued together now. And we have a hinge. And in 24 hours, you know, this would be completely dry. But, uh... You can make hinges out of this glue for like elevators or ailerons. It's a pretty neat glue. I mean, you'd want to reinforce this with Blenderm tape, but uh, you get the idea. After this is dry for five or ten minutes, you slap it back together, kind of squeeze your pieces together, and then let it dry. That's it. That's how you use welders, and that's the quick tip. Thanks.